University of Missouri hosted the 19th annual MFA oil break time shootout on Sunday and the Harlan was well represented. First up, the La Plata Bulldogs taking on the Meadville Eagles, a team they beat in the playoffs last year by two points. It's Taylor Heron putting on the floor into the hoop, but Heron would make a mistake early. He would throw this one away and Derek Smith would take it all the way to the house and good. Heron again making a name for himself, laid the bucket up and good. And of course, it's not a Bulldog game without the Swifty. Peyton Swift, he would drive and score. Only gets eight on the day. The Bulldogs lose this one 53-34. Here's Coach and Peyton about playing at Mizzou. It was an exciting experience. You know, a lot of these kids have watched Mizzou play quite a few games out here, and a lot of them got the opportunity to come down and watch. And so uh, to actually be out on the court and uh, feel what it feels like to be to a Mizzou Tiger is, is quite the experience for them. Uh, it was really fun. We came here last year and had a lot of fun. It was just really nice to do it again. Would have been better if we could come out with a win, but it was a tough team, number one team in the state, and just hopefully we can get back out. And... The Schuyler County Rams are looking to make a major statement against the Wellington Napoleon Tigers, who were in the final four last year. Rams breaking the huddle, ready to go to war. This guy had a huge game, Kristen Henderson. He's behind the ref right here, I promise. He gets the jumper to fall. Then it would be the big man, Garrett Wilson, cleaning up the house, so Mama will definitely be proud of him. Here we go, Henderson. He would nail it beyond the arc. Three of seven on the day for Henderson. Then Henderson once again, discard what you don't need, he says. Look at that shifty little move. Skyler hangs tough, but a 15-0 run in the fourth killed the Rams. They fall 57 to 41. Yeah, the, for three quarters, we really played well, and uh, our guys passed the ball and competed. Uh, we played great defense and rebounded and uh, showed flashes of what we're, we're capable of doing. Uh, fourth quarter, I think maybe we ran out of points and Wellington stepped up their pressure and that got to us a little bit. It was pretty fun. I thought I did all right. I didn't think I was going to do very good because during warm-ups I wasn't hitting them, but at the end, during the game, I was hitting them. Their scores, Marion County girls take out Harrisburg 56-45 in a nightcap game. The Macon Tigers fall to Salisbury 66-43.